So this is the turtle that I mentioned yesterday and I just wanted to give you a little update. Um, in the state that I live in, we have many freshwater turtles. Um, this is the semi-aquatic terrapin species. It's either a painted turtle or a red-eared slider. Um, if it is the red-eared slider, it is related to the painted turtle. They're found in ponds and swamps and ditches. They eat tadpoles, snails, worms, and water bugs. According to the DEC, they do not eat um, small fish, which if I was to keep this turtle in captivity, I would have assumed that the turtle ate small fish. But if you keep a turtle in captivity, they actually need to eat turtle pellets that are sold at pet food stores. Males have longer claws, females have longer shells. Shells are turtles only defense. A turtle like this doesn't have an aggressive bite like a, say a snapping turtle would. And um, their average weight full grown is five to 10 pounds. Females lay five to six eggs, usually um, a little further away from the pond that they live in. They'll go and find some nice sandy ground and lay their eggs. And these turtles live between 20 and 40 years. Um, that being said, they do like to cross the road. So if you see a turtle in the middle of the road, especially one that looks like this, don't be afraid to pull over the car, put on your emergency lights, and um, just help it get across the road. Because they, they won't bite um, if they do try to bite you, it's not going to be like a snapping turtle bite that is very damaging and they don't let go. Uh, this turtle, the biggest thing that it does is it will hiss at you. And actually when I picked it up at my local pond, um, when I found it in the ground, it was actually um, basking in the sun. And uh, this type of turtle has to do that so their shell will dry out. Their shell can't be wet all the time or it actually gets like mold and mildew and it can make them really sick. So that's what this turtle was doing, was basking in the sun when I found it. Um, I can just show you that it doesn't really like being picked up and it will hiss at you. So let's see how this goes. This is Tully. I, I gave this turtle a name last night, Tolly the Turtle, and you can see that Tolly's front claws are prominent, but then if you look at the back claws, they're much more prominent. This is the tortoise's tummy, basically, and oh, getting a little bit of hissing there from Tolly, not happy about being picked up. And this is the shell. Um, you know, all, all tortoises have a shell, and if their shell gets damaged, it's they're very susceptible to predators. So this is a very lucky tortoise because it will be going to a man-made environment later today um, on an animal park. And this environment is specifically made for human beings to go and see the animals and it has um, staff members that keep the pond um, free of fishing nets, fishermen, any kind of debris. So Tully is going to be a very lucky little turtle shortly. Unfortunately my son wasn't able to meet this tortoise but um, we live very close to the animal park an animal pond where this tortoise will be living. So we'll be able to go visit. And I just wanted to show you some of the colors that I found on the underbody. And once again, the, um, the claws, the males have longer claws, which kind of makes sense. Um, and the females have the longer shells, according to the DEC. So this is the markings on the turtle, 
This is not a baby turtle. This turtle's been around for a while, but it's not full grown yet. And um, I will not be keeping this turtle in captivity. In order to do that, I would need a 10 gallon tank and um, a filter, a dry surface for the turtle. And um, like I said, appropriate, oh hello, appropriate food. I think Tully wants to go back down in the tub. So if you do buy a turtle, just make sure that you do your homework because a lot of the staff at the pet stores, they don't understand how much space they need. You know, they need a pretty significant size tank and um, they can't be in the water all the time, like I said. So just do your research. They can be a great pet if you have enough space. Uh, I do not have enough space. And um, for me, I didn't feel like it was right to take an animal that's never been in captivity and keep it and invest and get in the tank. But I did want my son to meet Tolly, so here's the video, and we'll be going to the park um, to see Tolly on a regular basis throughout the summer. All right, enjoy your day. Say goodbye, Tolly.